Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3 as Republican Spain. When we last left things off, we had captured the final victory point, and I was waiting breathlessly for some kind of event that says, okay, the war is over, and it didn't end. I've done a little bit of research. Apparently, the key is that, uh, so the way it works, and I mean, I knew some of this, and that's why I was kind of surprised it didn't go. Okay, so both myself and Republic, er, sorry, both myself as Republican Spain, and also my opponent, nationalist Spain, have a very high national unity, right? We've been sort of unified, like our individual sort of subsets of the nation have been unified within the civil war, right? A national unity of 99%. <clears throat> and the way to end one of these wars totally and completely, right? Because in the diplomatic view, it's, um, it's a different kind of peace, right? It's more of a white peace type-ish thing, whatever. Um, but this sort of full surrender, the way you do it <clears throat> is you have to have a higher percentage of um, victory points than the other person's national unity. And I want to give a shout out to Reddit people who really did help clarify this. I'm like, I thought this is how it works. But what I did not know is that this is calculated at midnight. So it's currently 2100 hours. We have to hold the line for three more hours. And if we still have all the victory points, we will have 100% of the victory points, which should outclass their 99% national unity. I mean, for all I know, their national unity is actually a little bit lower. And we should win, but we have to hold the line. Uh, apparently more research is possible. Really? Yeah, let's, let's just do that. That's fine. Uh, and a little bit of wasted IC. I mean, we'll make sure that things are going well. Full reinforcements, appropriate amount of supplies, although overdoing supplies is not really the end of the world. There we go, and a little bit more production. That is, is fine and groovy. All right, so we're going to have to take a moment here and just make sure that our lines are okay. Um, we are moving to Burgas, which is good. I think Bilbao is going to be fine. I don't think they're going to make it there in three hours. I just, I need to end this day. This Valentine's Day, February 14th, 1937. We have to end this and hold all of our command points. And I think, or our victory points, I think that we will. I don't think anything is being threatened. Burgas is like the most threatened of the bunch. And even then it should be okay. Um... Should be perfectly fine, I think. I suppose if I want to be a little bit more careful, I can move another dude in there. But I don't think anyone's going to complete a move in time and be a threat. Okay, so let's let's move it up here. 22, 23, 24. Dinner! Look at that! I was so freaked out at the end of the episode. And the thing is, I didn't want to accidentally let the game play. Oops you know, too long and have missed something about the victory condition that is required and find myself in the losing position. I felt like I was so close. Apparently all I need to do is hit play for two seconds and we got it. Boom! February 14th, the war, the last day of the war, so at midnight of the 15th, nationalist Spain surrendered. We have won the civil war. Republican Spain is the victor. And we won apparently a few more scraps here and there. We've enforced civil war in national Spain. New laws were enforced. Oh, because I think I have um, our politics on. That's on normal. Oh, I guess because we're no longer at war, there's certain laws that we couldn't continue. Now, so theoretically, some of the troops, these guys, I think, like, we should still have them. Oh, we can, um, can we deploy them? I actually don't know what happened to the troops. Still, listen. This, this to me is the victory. This is what I was hoping to do. Um, consider this the end of season one of Hearts of Iron 3. I didn't, you know, our schedule is very full right now. I'd promise Hearts of Iron 3 forever, and now we've done it. We've won the Spanish Civil War as Republican Spain, which I, I consider to be a pretty substantial uh, accomplishment, because clearly I'm not very good at this game, so I'm, I'm really happy to have pulled that off. This is not how history went down. In history, it was it was the nationalists that won, it was Franco, right, that, that won and became dictator of the country. I don't know what his official title was or, or whatever, but that, that is what happened. And uh, Spain became basically an Axis ally. Now, Spain didn't really participate in the war, but they were technically there, and you know, there's all sorts of room for, for various political pressure or whatever. Love that, nice and solid yellow once again. Um, so it is possible, I'm going to keep this save around, we may revisit this game at some point in the future, go to, go to season two of uh, Hearts of Iron, uh, at which point, you know, we might advance time forward into proper World War II, um, but 
I, you know, it's, it's not going to happen tomorrow or next week or even probably next month. All right, this, this particular chapter in the game is done. I'm happy to have done it. Uh, but we have so many other things on the docket that we really have to keep going for. And, and frankly, I'm not that good at the game. So I'm not sure what the quality of the content is going to be. But I'm so freaking happy that, uh, that this finally happened. Because let me tell you, I've done a few test games as uh, Spain. It did not go well. Um, so there we have it. And it's a little bit random and different every time. And oh, look at this. A little bit of uh, Germany over here. Um, yeah. Everything else is probably relatively static. Because it hasn't been that long, right? Wow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I love Paradox games in general, so you guys can continue to expect more Paradox games in general. There may be more Hearts of Iron. There may be East versus West, uh, which actually sounds quite compelling. Uh, which, if you don't know, it's it's similar to Hearts of Iron in that it's, I think it's like the same sort of basic engine, but it's after World War II and it's more of the Cold War type stuff, and there's more ways to sort of fight. It's not like direct warfare all the time. There's a lot of uh, diplomatic, political, economic stuff, and lots of like sort of proxy puppet wars and things that can happen as well. So, very cool, but there we go. We've unified, and we still have amazing uh, national unity, which is actually a pretty good place for a country to be because a lot of them are nowhere close to that. But go Spain. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.